Brothers with Ahmed, today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. I want to create uh, only a table with one uh, column and that should be identity one comma one. So it should start with one and increment with one. After creating this table, I want to populate this table from one to hundred thousand. What uh, would be my script uh, or how it would look like? So to perform this, uh, what we can do, we can use a go statement. So go statement is not a transit SQL statement, but it is a statement that is recognized by SQL CMD, OSQL or SSMS. So let's uh, uh, go to the SSMS and take a look. So one thing why I would like to add go statement uh, indicates uh, the end of the batch. So one thing uh, right here. So what we have now we have uh, a table that I, I am dropping here. So first of all I'm using a use um, keyword and saying database. So I'm switching the database by using a use um, keyword and then I'm saying go and next I'm dropping a table and then I'm using go so that's how I'm indicating uh, or uh, telling you uh, in uh, to the SSMS uh, each uh, statement is uh, terminating uh, in this point so first is terminating here the second one here the third one here and then I have truncate so I'm telling okay the truncate is a separate statement okay and uh, this is the next one is a separate so I'm using go to handle this one so let's go back and uh, uh, run this one we can run so it will show us uh, all those uh, statements uh, separately ran successfully now if I go here and uh, want to insert some records uh, so if I select now it did insert a couple of records because we use the insert statements consider I'm using uh, this uh, entire uh, data database table for test purpose and I want to insert maybe hundred thousand records so how I can do that one part with the go you can run the same statement multiple times or the count you will give it to give uh, uh, to it so here right now I'm saying go it means it's, this is dealing one as a single statement and a single batch here if I will say 10 that means I want to run this batch or statement 10 times so let me run this one and see what happened so it ran it said beginning execution loop and it keep running and 10 times so if I run this one now the select statement it has given me these records are 12 records the first one two one were inserted just the first time we ran the entire SQL and the these uh, tens are inserted by using this one so if you need to insert hundred um, thousand records uh, you can always uh, you know add some values here and there and uh, make them uh, different uh, from each other and uh, the with the go and count you can run the statement multiple times the next part was uh, create a table with one column and populate that one that could be we use for sequence or some other purpose so let's create a table create table dbo cust um, customer and uh, say just t and i'm going to say id integer and identity t -I -T. now one is starting and one is the the incrementer so this uh, this part it is going to start with one and i'm incrementing with the one if i want to increment with two so my ids will be created one three five and all that here what i'm doing i'm only incrementing uh, with the one so i, I my ids will be one two three four and they will go in the sequence now once this table is created let's run this one here we will say select star from dbo customer t Now we want to insert 100,000 records here. So I'm not going to run for 100,000. It might take some time. I'm going to insert maybe 10 or 15 records to show you how you can do it. But you can go and whatever you need to insert, you, you can run your statements. And then we'll say default values. So and then the next part is say 100. So that's how you will be inserting the def when you will say, okay, run for this. 
uh, hundred time and here we are telling default values we are not uh, putting any column values or anything because this has only single uh, column and that's identity so we just have to say insert into table name default and the values and uh, we will tell uh, how many times we want to run it so every time it is going to run it is going to increment automatically as our column is the identity column and uh, we have starting point one and then incrementing with the one so let's uh, run this one and see what happened so we can see that it ran 100 times so yeah, let's go at the end and we see that it ran 100 times the batch execution completed 100 times so now if we select this uh, uh, data from the customer t table it's going to show us uh, all those uh, sequence 1 to 100 so that's how you can uh, insert uh, the default value in the identity column and uh, run the time uh, you want in or maybe you want to create 1 million uh, sequence uh, from 1 to all the way to 1 million so you can use this uh, script thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video